a hidden stat. Most of you probably already know about it by now, but if you don't, 86 hit power. That's the highest hit power for a corner in the game. And what's crazy about this, guys, is he is only my cornerback number four. You guys are about to see some of the craziest cards of Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. What is up guys we are back uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while I'm really excited about this one I can't wait to show you guys the squad um, so let's get right into it we're gonna start with our chemistries as you guys can see I got the 35 out of 50 Philadelphia Eagles uh, right here boom all my backups are Eagles go deep maxed out lockdown maxed out zone run maxed out and here's a, a really important one this just gives the team that extra step 35 out of 30, we got the Legends Pass D fully chemmed out. Uh, that gives all my defenders a plus one in speed that have it. And so we got two out of two Madden rushing, two out of two Madden passing. And uh, okay, here's the, the stadiums and the uniforms that I was talking about right here. Uh, this is the most balanced it's ever been. We got eight out of 40 for uh, Eagles passing. You can see what that does here. It gives you some good stats. Uh, I was mainly in it for the throw power and deep throw accuracy. Um, Eagles rushing. Uh, as you can see, we get the break tackle, run block, run block power, lead block, all that good stuff, elusiveness. Um, Eagles pass D. We got plus one catching, plus one finesse, plus one zone, plus one man, plus one press, power moves. You guys get the point. But yeah, that it's really balanced right now. But uh, that's about it for the chemistries, guys. Let's get right into it. Let's show you guys the offense. All right, guys, so here is the offense. Starting out with the centerpiece of the squad and the centerpiece of most people's squads in Ultimate Team this year, to be honest. We got Michael Vick. This is one of the best Michael Vicks you'll see out there right now. 97 speed, 99 throw power, 96 deep throw accuracy. Uh, this dude is an animal. He's a monster. Uh, 98 agility, 99 excel. Uh, like, he's got running back stats, guys. It's insane. He's got 90 jumping, 90 elusiveness, 94 ball carry vision, 92 spin, 96 juke. Um, he's, he's an animal, guys. Point blank, period. This is one of the best cards in the game. Vic cards are always insane. I always have a lot of fun with them. Um, 91 break tackle, 99 break sack. Dude's a goon, bottom line, end of discussion. One of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, we got Lorenzo Neal here with lead the way. All my fullbacks do on my team is block, so uh, we got Franco there at backup. But, yeah, they, they're barely ever in anyway. Megatron in at wide receiver number two. He's basically my wide receiver one. I just like having him in this spot for some of the route combos I do. I got deep route specialist on him right now, and... Uh, why is my card art not loading? Hold up, guys. We're going to pause the video real quick and try to get this fixed. All right, boys. We got it fixed. Here's the card art. It's beautiful. We got Kelvin Johnson, Megatron, one of the best cards in Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Go get yourself a Megatron if you can. 98 speed, 99 jumping, 98 catching traffic, 99 spec catch, 95 short, 94 medium, 99 deep route running. Um... 6-5, my favorite part about this card, with 99 jumping, and his agility is 97. If you guys didn't know, agility actually helps you on, uh, like, jumping. So jumping and agility go hand in hand. On first down all day for Stafford, who goes to the end zone. Jump ball, touchdown. Megatron is in for the touchdown, Calvin Johnson. He's a good run blocking wide receiver as well, but what really separates Megatron from guys like Randy Moss and stuff like that, 91 elusiveness, 92 ball carry vision, 91 spin, well over the threshold, 93 juke. Um, so basically after the catch, he's a straight goon. He's a, you already know what he is before the catch, uh, especially with aggressive catches this year. You need to have Megatron on the team. 99 beat press. Do not press this guy. Uh, 91 break tackle. So he's insane, guys. Uh, best wide receiver in the game. Uh, and as you guys can see, we got Todd Gurley. It doesn't get too much better than Gurley, honestly. He can run you over. He can run by you. Uh, he can do everything. 79 catching is even pretty good for a running back. 
But uh, I throw Kish Christian McCaffrey in there on passing downs uh, because he he's... Uh, I'll show you McCaffrey's route running and stuff like that real quick. Keep in mind, Gurley's above average as far as a pass catching bat goes. 85 spec catch on McCaffrey, 84 catch in traffic, 87 short route running, 80 uh, mid, 72 deep. But here's the deal, guys. You're still going to bang one off the back of Christian McCaffrey's head every once in a while because uh, catching for running, running backs is straight broken this year. Uh, Ricky Williams, he's still a goon. He's going to be getting an upgrade soon. So uh, he's, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm thinking about getting rid of Gurley while well, his price is still pretty high because I know that Ricky's coming. But uh, Gurley's just so much of an animal. Uh, Ricky should be able to get two chemistries as well, guys, after the series changeover. So that's going to be dope. I'm going to put Elite Route Specialist on him. Uh, this card right here, though, guys... This is one of the most underrated cards on my team. He makes so many plays for me. It's ridiculous. Uh, 95 speed could be a little bit higher, but his catching stats are insane. 97 short route running. But I'm about to show you what really makes him such a goon. 99 agility, 96 excel. Uh, hang on, guys. It gets better. 84 carrying, um, 96 jumping. Right here, guys. 99 elusiveness. 94 ball carry vision, 90 spin well above the threshold, 98 juke, and uh, his break tackle is insane too. So in my opinion, at least on my team with the way things are set up, break tackle is a 91, guys. Stafford throws and it's complete to Golden Tate, who has a first down and then dives to the end zone for a Lions touchdown. Golden Tate is the best wide receiver in the game. If for what I have set up here, I'm not saying if you put him on your team, it's going to be the same. But after the catch, guys, I, I need to make like a highlight video for him or something because he just, he is insane. He makes so many plays. He's so fun to use. Uh, he, I, don't, he, I don't put him on deep routes or anything like that. Uh, Chris Carter's all right, guys. He's a little outdated at this point, but he still works just fine for me. He's still out there every down. Uh, his, look at his stats. Like His next card is going to be a problem. Um, he can't spin or juke. That's my biggest complaint. Uh, I, I really can't wait to get some guys in here. Like You guys saw Golden Tate's elusiveness was 99. My man Chris Carter is only 82, if that tells you anything. Uh, he doesn't meet the spin threshold. Juke needs to be higher, too. So his next card is going to be insane. We got Terrell Owens down here, guys. Um, he Honestly, they could have made this card better. He's still really good. He's, still, he's a big-bodied wide receiver, strong, good run blocker, uh, good red zone threat. But, uh, yeah, his strength and run blocking is up there is one of the highest in the game. So if you guys like that and your wide receiver... Check out T.O. Incredibly expensive to power up, though, so keep that in mind. Elshon Jeffrey made more plays for me than anybody I have had at the wide receiver position this year. When he gets a new card, guys, I it's going to be insane. This card, it you know how Ricky just has something in his code? Same thing with Elshon Jeffrey. He, want, he runs, like, insanely crisp routes. He catches everything. I have a lot of fun using this card. I hope he gets another upgrade, though, which I'm not really confident in. But All right, guys, moving on to Zach Ertz. This is one of the best tight ends you will ever see in the game, period. Look at these stats, guys. 90 speed could be a little bit higher. He's not a George Kittle when it comes to speed. Uh, 85 strength, not too bad. Could be a little higher as well. But here we. He, this is where it just gets insane. He pumps. He fires. Diving receptions. It is a touchdown in the back of the end zone. 99 catching, 98 catch in traffic, 99 spec catch, 97 short, 97 medium. Uh, run blocking is low, that's for sure. He can't do much after the catch either. Uh, if he could do something, 94 excel. If he could do something after the catch, this card would probably be the best. He would be end game, but uh, his jumping's a little low too, which bothers me. But tight end number two. Uh, we got Gronk in there. He He's my run blocker. He's in there on all my running plays. Uh, he's also a very good red zone threat. I'd like to run two tight ends in the red zone every once in a while. But uh, yeah, as far as run blocking goes and strength and stuff like that. Also, he's 6'6". So high points with Gronk are glitchy. But really good card right there as well. Uh, moving on to the offensive line. Lane Johnson. This card is still on most people's teams. As you can see, mine is just straight crazy. 
Uh, 91 strength, a lot of, like, everything about him is just... But this is what really blows, makes him just insane. 82 speed, 89 acceleration, 79 agility for a right tackle. And keep in mind, guys, I do not even have Sprinter on him right now. Actually, I'm going to put Sprinter on him as soon as this video is over, so... That's insane, guys. He is so quick. He, he lead blocks, pull blocks, everything. He's out there. Um, if I was sacrificing anywhere by having the 35 out of 50 Eagles, it would be right here. Uh, as you can see, though, 95 strength. Um, all of his uh, blocking... Um, all of his blocking stats are low to mid 90s so he's still like he doesn't really hold me back too much uh what really 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 kills this card in my opinion though his impact blocking is only an 85 lead blocking is 69 that is bad so bad he's still usable though he doesn't hold me back too much Jason Kelsey, uh, I don't care about his pass blocking stats, guys. Centers, if you guys haven't noticed, they, they typically, like, they don't give up a lot of sacks for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. But his run blocking is as good as it gets for any center in the league. Uh, he's also very athletic with 87 acceleration, 79 speed, 74 agility. His lead and impact blocking are both very high as well. So love that Jason Kelsey card. Quentin Nelson, um... Best left guard in the game, in my opinion. You could put Randall McDaniel up there, too, but no weaknesses here. 97 strength. Look at his run blocking stats, guys. 99, 98, 99. And uh, the cool thing about him that I, I really love, and I think these stats are underrated, uh, impact blocking without any boost is 99 already. And then his lead blocking, just take my word for it, is also a 99. So really love this card. He's probably going to be on the team for an extremely long time unless the Eagles get a good left guard. And then Jason Peters, guys, he's been out for months. Keep in mind, he was a Thanksgiving card, a Harvest card. Uh, when this card first came out, he was on my team easily the best left tackle in the game. He's still very good. I'm not concerned. Uh, that Anthony Munoz I, I just bought as like an investment, but... Um, Jason Peters isn't going anywhere. I hope he gets another upgrade. Maybe we'll get motivators or something, guys. If, if we get motivators and Jason Peters gets a card, that will be so lit. You have no idea how excited I would be about that. But, all right, guys, let's move on to the defense. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Hit the like and subscribe button if you are. Let's get it. Here is the defense. I love this defense right here. It is so insane. It makes so many plays for me. You have no idea. Um... Uh, look at my linebackers like i i feel i don't i almost feel guilty about this that's how it, just crazy they are uh ray lewis on my squad he has 93 speed 94 excel 94 strength 98 play rec 97 block shedding hit power 89 zone but uh the deal with ray lewis guys i i love i Every, pretty much what I do with him is put him at my uh, left outside linebacker spot, either him or Bill Romanowski, and send them on blitzes uh, because, as you can see, impact blocking 94, power moves 90, he block shedding 97, very good pass rusher, very good in the run game, coverage is lacking just a tiny, tiny bit, but uh, he may, uh, he's on the field every play. Necessary violence against Chad Ochocinco has been approved. What's that? Meaningless. 15 crucial yards. Out of my way and tip drill. Best two chemistries in the game, in my opinion, for defense. Jordan Hicks, guys, when this card came out, same thing. He was he was even better than Chazier. But uh, 91 zone, that, that's what makes this card so cool. 96 excel, 91 speed, 98 play rec. So very, very, very good coverage linebacker. 91 agility. Um, 83 catching is pretty good and what's his jumping 92 so good user uh good coverage linebacker if i'm playing pass heavy teams i'll make sure i get him in there with bobby wagner uh you guys already know the deal with bobby wagner a lot of people have him i got out of my way and tip drill on him as well with 96 speed 94 zone uh so i can do anything with him i can blitz him i can send him or put him in coverage uh doesn't matter he's good at everything and my man bill romanowski newest one of the newest additions to the squad 
92 speed, 95 excel, 98 strength, 98 tackle, 97 play rec, 98 block shedding, 98 hit power, 89 zone. So uh, I don't think you guys understand how crazy that is because his zone is the same. It's 89. That's not bad for a linebacker at all. If I can get that up like a plus two, uh, watch out basically. 98 strength though, that's insane. 95 excel. And like I said, guys, his catching could be a little bit higher. His jumping could be a little bit higher at 87. But um, he's not like he's not going to be your user. 99 impact blocking, 92 finesse moves, which I love. 89 power moves. Uh, he's not going to be your user. He's definitely like you want to put him some some there somewhere and let the computer handle it. But uh, 98 pursuit. It, he's insane. He forces fumbles. Just he looks big out there too. He's six four, but really good card. A lot of fun to use. Uh, LT guys, you already know the deal with LT. 94 speed, 95 excel on my team. Uh, he still is my best pass rusher, even with all these goons on the squad. LT makes the most plays. He never backs down from a battle. The fact that he's intense all the time. When he comes out, you know, he transforms in that Wolverine thing. Brian Dawkins, one of my prized possessions right here. Weapon X, 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 zone, 92 hit power. I got footsteps on him right now. That might change though. I saw it has lit up a couple of times, it but it very rarely lights up. And when it does, it still usually doesn't work. Extremely good coverage linebacker. As I said, if I'm getting held back again with the 35 out of 50 Eagles, they really screwed this Chuck ben Benaric card up. Um, he's average in, in, in everything, so he has no real glaring weaknesses, but he's also not amazing at anything. So he gets subbed out uh, every single play. He's never on the field, really. Um, Nigel Bradham, when this card came out, I really, really enjoyed it. Made a lot of plays for me. 90 speed, 90 excel at the time was very, very good. 98 play rec. Uh, he is in a, with the 92 zone and 84 man. And uh, I forgot, there's a hidden stat I need to show you guys on Chuck, uh, or no, 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 on Bill Romanowski. Uh, something a lot of people overlooked, I think. That's it. I'm not sure how useful it is, but it's just cool. It's a cool stat to see there. Right here, he has 91 press, guys. That's For a linebacker, that's insane. Like, look at Bobby Wagner. 43 press on Bobby Wagner as opposed to 91 on Bill Romanowski. So, cool stat, a little hidden gem right there. Not a lot of people noticed that. Anyway, guys, moving on. We got Malcolm Jenkins at strong safety. He needs an upgrade. I really thought he was going to get one for team of the year, but obviously he didn't. 93 speed, 96 excel, 99 man, 96, or 96 man, 99 zone. That 96 man is important for me. 99 play rec. Uh, that's a big reason why he's still on the team because I really, really like to cross man my safeties. He needs to get another card soon, though. He had a, a, a really, he had an amazing year. He has 92 catching guys. Uh, but yeah, he had an amazing year, 94 jumping, and he deserves one. I need his speed to be a little higher than 93, honestly. Uh, same thing with Derwin James. I was really hoping he won rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year. He didn't. But uh, high man coverage on Derwin, high hit power. Uh, when he came out, he had very good speed as well. His block shedding's in the 70s, which is high. Um, very good card there, especially for cross manning, like I said. In my opinion, oh, and Derwin is 6'3". Big thing for me. I love having tall guys, so 6'3 on Derwin is very, very good. Uh, as you guys can see, we're running with Dion at cornerback one. Uh, cornerback two, we got Pat Pete. I still think he's one of the best corners in the game right now. I thought about replacing him with Kyle Fuller, but for whatever reason, Pat Pete just making more plays for me. There's another stat I think is kind of a hidden stat on Patrick Peterson that some of you guys may have missed that's very cool, but 98 jumping, That's he's 6'1", so Patrick Peterson's taller than your average corner as well. His elusiveness is 91, so he you make an interception with him, he hits the juke threshold on my team and spin. 
So very, very good after the catch if he gets a pick. Taylor steps up, airing it out, and it is Patrick Peterson who comes up with the spectacular interception. 93 spectacular catch. That is insane, guys. Like, look at Kyle Fuller over here with 74. 93 spec catch on Patrick Peterson. Uh, uh, let's finish going through the corners. Uh, as you guys saw earlier, I'm, I'm probably going to put like a little preview clip in for Kyle Fuller. Uh, another reason why I like Anise Williams is because he has the second highest hit power other than Kyle Fuller in the game. So he has 80 hit power. Kyle, Kyle Fuller has 86. Would you ever think that these two right here would have higher hit power than Rod Woodson and Night Train Lane? Because I definitely wouldn't, but that is the case. So these guys are on the squad. Uh, Anise Williams makes tons of plays for me. Good block shedding for a corner, all that stuff. So uh, good card. 97 speed's not bad. I will replace him eventually, but he's helping me with that legend chem. And then we got Kyle Fuller down here. We also got Richard Sherman that I sub in every once in a while. You can't see him yet. Uh, Jason Taylor, he's just kind of in right now for uh, my legend chem. He gets subbed out for Reggie White or Javon Curse. But uh, 90 speed, 90 excel. He's 6'6", six, six, which is really cool. 97 finesse moves, so he's really good at pass rushing. Um, the thing is, last year, if you guys remember his ultimate legend card, by far, not even close, was the best spy in the game. Uh, his catching is always high for alignment, as you can see with 75. And uh, he's always fast. He has 89 jumping at, with that 6-6 six, six frame. So Jason Taylor's ultimate legend card is going to be insane. I cannot wait. That's one of the cards I'm the most excited for. Uh, Fletcher Cox without of my way. Uh, Fletcher Cox is good. He's better than Alan Page on my team, in my opinion, of course. But um, as you can see, 95 strength, 90, strength, 91 excel, 98 play rec, 96 power moves, 87 finesse is really low. But um, I also I have lockdown on him. Uh, I couldn't get the pass rush fully chemmed out with the way things are set up. Then we got Alan Page at defensive tackle number two. Uh, Alan Page. Best defensive tackle in the game on most teams. Uh, 88 speed, 89 excel, 99 finesse moves. Really good pass rushing defensive tackle. Highly recommend him. Again, his ultimate legend card is going to be insane. Reggie White's another goon right here. One of my favorite cards in the game right here. Javon the Freak Curse. 94 speed, 96 acceleration, 92 strength, 96 power moves, 99 finesse. He is so fast with that 6'4 frame. The deal with him is he's one of the most physically gifted ends in the game. Uh, with his size, it's just that's why he's called the freak. The mixture of size and athleticism with him is just it's insane. It makes one of the coolest cards in the game. Uh, I hope that he continues to get upgrades, but for now, this card's going to do good things for me for a long time. Uh, 90 agility. Another cool stat, 95 jumping on Javon Curse with that 6'4 frame. Really cool card, guys. Both of these guys, you can't see it right now, but they have so situational pass rusher and out of my way. Out of my way, best defensive chemistry in the game. Uh, situational pass rusher, I, I left it on him because uh, I just I noticed Curse had it originally, him making a couple plays on third down and having that light up. So I figured why not. 87 speed on Reggie White here, 92 excel, 96 strength, 99 power moves, 95 block shedding, 98 play rec, 95 finesse. He's good at everything, extremely strong. He just bullies guys. He bullies offensive linemen. Uh, one of the best in the game against the run, one of the best against the pass. I love everything about that Reggie White card. Um, but that's about it for the defense, guys. So for special teams right here, we got Robbie Gold. I have to have Kruger Hill starting for me, which is unfortunate because it takes away focus kicker from Robbie Gold. But um, that's fine, though. I, it, I don't like kicking field goals anyway. And when I do, I can sub Robbie Gold in. He's subbed in for kickoffs and all that stuff. Kick returners, we got Dion and Golden Tate because you guys saw those crazy after-the-catch stats. And then uh, third running back, as I said, Christian McCaffrey is my passing down back. Slot wide receiver, I sub T.O. in in running plays and stuff like that. Uh, here's one of the hidden gems on the squad. One of the most important cards on my team. 
I like running the ball. I, I love running the ball. I think it's fun. I don't know why everyone says it's boring. Wait till you guys see these stats. The worst thing about playing Anthony Munoz on any given Sunday is you're going to be out there against him for 40 or 50 plays. Well, with this new offense, now you're going to be out there against Anthony Munoz for 80 plays. He's going to beat your ass 80 times, not 40 times. 97 run blocking, 91 pass blocking, um, and it just gets even crazier. 89 impact blocking, 90 run block power, 97 run block finesse, 90 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse, 85 lead block, and keep in mind, guys, he is at my slot wide receiver position, so I'm not even putting him in at tight end. I'm putting him in at wide receiver, and I'm getting those run blocking stats. So you can imagine how glitchy that is. It's some you got to be a little bit tricky with it though, because if you're subbing this big ass guy in every play, people are gonna know you're running the ball. So make sure you switch it up. But in my opinion, one of the coolest cards in the game, must have for me. Uh, Kyle Fuller here at slot. We also got Sherman snuck in down here. I love this Sherman card, guys. Guys, 6'3". Uh, love the height on him. I, I, everything about this card is just amazing other than his speed. Uh, his agility is very high, but still a very good card. Cloud flats, hard flats, stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we got more videos coming out. Uh, hit the like, like button and subscribe. We got a subscribe button right on the screen now. You can just click that and it'll take you right where you need to go. But I really appreciate you guys. Everyone that stuck around, I really appreciate it. But until next time, guys, I'm out.